Hey buddy, you wag your tail like a nerd. That is seriously so mean. Hey, welcome to our scene on Wegener's granulomatosis, represented by this tail over here who's making fun of this guy's tail and saying that it's a nerd. Wagging like a nerd, or wag nerd, for Wegener's. Wegener's granulomatosis, also known as granulomatosis with polyangiitis. So Wegener's granulomatosis is one of the small vessel vasculitides, and we'll see soon how to remember that. Let's begin with the symptoms seen in a patient. So in Wegener's granulomatosis, a person doesn't grow a tail. That was just to help us remember the wagging like a nerd. But everything else over here is going to help us remember the symptoms seen in a patient with Wegener's granulomatosis. Let's begin with the triad. The first is necrotizing granulomas in the lung and upper airway. And that's why over here, there is this granny, granny for granuloma, coming out of his upper and lower respiratory tract. And if we note, next to the granny is the granny's pet the glomerulus with the nephron, who is very disturbed that the granny is in this state. The glomerulus, actually that's on fire, is going to help us remember the glomerulonephritis, specifically the necrotizing glomerulonephritis. And finally, we notice that the granny is attached by vessels, maybe small ar arterioles or something. This is going to help us remember the focal necrotizing vasculitis, specifically of small vessels. So again, the triad in Wegener's granulomatosis is necrotizing granulomas in the lung and the upper airway, necrotizing glomerulonephritis, and focal necrotizing vasculitis. But there are some other things that we want to be aware of. We note the nose ring that he has over here to help us remember the perforated nasal septum seen in some patients. We also note that he coughed up some blood to help us remember the hemoptysis. We also note the blood in the urine, remember the hematuria, associated with the glomerulonephritis. He actually is short of breath. <laughs> Maybe when he got insulted, he got shortness of breath to help us remember the dyspnea. Finally, over here, we notice this sign over here that's chronically here with nothing written on it. The chronic sign for chronic sinusitis, along with the random anatomy model of the ear with the middle ear on fire to help us remember the otitis media. And finally, we notice that that dog over there was actually standing on this lab picture of the sea ancas, which are highly associated with Wegener's granulomatosis. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Wegener's granulomatosis. Take care.